All right, now let's say you are using a particular application and you want to open that app in split screen view. Uh, usually what you do is you go to the recent application and tap on this icon and tap on open in split screen view. Now instead what you can do is uh, if you open a particular app, and if you're using this navigation bar or so navigation button here, you can just press and hold on this recent button to open the application in split screen view. You see, when I press and hold on this, the calculator is opening up in split screen view and then I can select whichever app I want right here for the second screen. Sounds cool, isn't it? Now to do this, all you need is a GoodLock application called Multistar. Let me open GoodLock application here. Now I'll open a Multistar app. This is under the Life Up option. Uh, let me tap on this. You see, this is the multi-star application which enables us to enhance the multitasking experience. Now you see here on the top, we have got some settings for Samsung DeX. I'll just tap on this. You see high resolution for external display. If you enable this, we can connect Samsung DeX in a high resolution. When you connect it on external display, then we've got run many applications at the same time. If you enable this, it'll allow more than five applications to run on DeX on the uh, bigger screen. Then we've got auto open last application. And then we've got some customization option for a task bar and header bar. These are some options for Samsung DeX we have on the multi-star uh, application. Then right below that, we've got this quick launch of multi-window. Uh, press and hold the recent key to quickly access the multi-window. When you enable this, you get two different options. One is open in split screen view. The other one is open in pop-up view. Now I have selected open in split screen view. When you select this, as in when you tap and hold on this particular recent button, it will instantly open the application in a split screen view. That is just amazing. Now, if you have selected open in pop-up view, you can just press and hold on this recent button to open the application in pop-up view. That is really cool. Now, let me open any other application here. Let's open uh, messages. I'll just press and hold on the recent button. You see it is opening up in the pop-up view. So we can either select pop-up view or we can select the split screen view for this recent button. And this is possible only if you're using the navigation buttons instead of uh, the navigation gesture bar. Now, apart from this, we also have this option called multi-window screen zoom. Uh, when we enable this, we get two options, uh, screen zoom for split screen view as well as pop-up view. It says when the app is running with multi-window, the screen is reduced to show a lot of content. So let me just select the uh, split screen view here and let's open this app in split screen view. You see, the content size uh, the, or the font size is reduced here and it is showing me more content here. Now let me do that again. Let's uh, disable this and do this. I'll disable split screen view here. Now when I open this in split screen view, you see the font size is bigger and the content shown for a particular app in the split screen view is lesser. Now again, let me show you this again. Let's open, uh, let's select split screen view. I'll go to recents. You see the font size is reduced and we have got more content here. That is just amazing. Uh, we can also do this for the pop-up view. Let's uh, select pop-up view here on the top for the quick launch of the multi-window. And I'll select pop-up view right here for uh, the uh, multi-window screen zoom as well. Now, let me open this app in pop-up view. You see again in the pop-up view, we get to see a lot of content because the font size uh, is shrinking and uh, the content is more to see right here. Now this is gonna be very useful if you're into multitasking and if you wanna see more contents in smaller windows, you must enable this option on multi-star module. Another important setting that we have got on multi-star is remove blur effect on adjusting split view. Uh, now whenever you're using the application in split screen view, uh, and if you want to reduce the size or increase the size, you'll see this bar which will blur the entire background on both the screens here and you don't see any content here. That is a bummer. Now, uh, what you can do is, if you enable this particular option here, remove blur effect on adjusting split screen view, then what happens is, if you're using an application in split screen view and if you want to adjust the screen, you see it does not blur or it does not black out when you're uh, reducing or increasing the size of a particular split screen here. This is another important uh, feature that you need to enable on multi-star to use the multitasking effectively. And at the bottom, you see, we also have an option called set pop-up gesture size. It says set pop-up gesture size menu has been moved to uh, advanced features, multi-window menu, try using the function more, uh, more conveniently. So this uh, function has been moved to the advanced feature. Let's go to advanced feature now. Let's go to settings and tap on advanced features. 
Now here we've got multi window option. I'll tap on this. Now here we get a couple of options, swipe for split screen view, swipe for pop-up view. Now if you, if you enable swipe for split screen view, we'll be able to swipe from the bottom of the screen to open a particular application in split screen view. You see, I'm able to open the settings here by swiping up from the bottom of the screen in split screen view uh, when you enable this particular feature here. Now we also have this option pop-up view. When I enable this, we can swipe for pop-up view from the top right corner or top left corner to open a particular application in the pop-up view. You see, I'm able to just swipe from the top right corner or top left corner to open the app in split screen view. Now when I open swipe for pop-up view, you see I've got this option top corner area. We can increase or decrease the size of this top corner area. Uh, to open the application in the pop-up view. Now this setting was earlier there on the uh, multi-star application. You see that is what it says here. Uh, this, uh, this particular setting has been moved to the settings to set it more conveniently. Now generally Samsung tests all these features on good luck application and then they move a few features to these settings whenever the phone gets the newer operating system update. Now these are some of the important features or functions that you need to enable on multi-star application on good luck to do multitasking more effectively on your Samsung Galaxy phones. Now let me know what do you think about these features? Have you been using it? Drop a comment and if you're interested in this particular wallpaper you can download it from the link I have left in the description. Every video will have a brand new wallpaper so go ahead check out all my previous videos and download the wallpapers from there and while you do that be sure to subscribe to the channel and give this video a like if you find this informational and do not forget to hit that like button I would really appreciate that. Thanks for watching my name is Salian signing off you guys take care and stay safe. Cheers bye bye.